What you thinking, princess? Oh, I'm all right, Chewie. Just that goes. They keep getting louder, eh? Oh, I know, Fuzzball. I know. Oh, hello, Nine. It's your to do, Amatavia. No, be my guest. I have other work to do. And from what I recall, you have as much right to the co-pilot's seat on the Falcon as anyone. That battle on Takodana... That was something else. It was the first time the Resistance had gone up against the First Order. For real, I mean. I'd shot down my share of ties before that. I have a special missions team, Black Squadron, and we'd have some tangles. But this felt different. We were out in the open where everyone could see. Everyone at Mos Kanata's castle, watching the Resistance protect them from those First Order goons. Go straight at them! Don't let these thugs scare you! It gave us all this energy, I think. This <clears throat> I took down nine ties in one run. Nine! And a bunch of ground targets, too. It felt amazing. Like I was really tapping into something. That's one hell of a pilot! Woohoo! You know, Poe, that almost sounds like the Force. Wait, is that how the Force works? Because I've gotten some conflicting reports on that. <laughs> nah, I don't have the Force, Ray. I grew up with this tree... It's kind of complicated to explain. But if I had it, I think I'd know. Of course you have the Force, Poe. Uh, what? We all do. It's life's music. The song we make. I will never understand this. So, we are all getting to know each other. That's good. We need to know each other as well as we can. We're all we've got left. Ugh. To rest. I'm still not 100%. But soon, Captain Dameron, you and I need to have a conversation. Uh, right. Of course. Whenever you want, General. Good. I'll send for you. I'm going to go to. Want to check on Rose. See how she's doing. Oh, all right, Finn. See you soon. Great guy, that Finn. Saved my life. Yes, you told me. He saved mine, too. He's special. Uh, so, how about that stuff of Luke Skywalker? That was just... <laughs> Man, what are these things? They're all over the place. They're from Ark 2. Luke called them Porgs. They're adorable. Adorable, right. I better not find any of my X-Wing. Well, assuming I get another X-Wing. Anyway, thinking about Takadana, my only regret about that battle is that I wish we deployed sooner. We might have been able to save Maz's castle. That was a hell of a place. Do you know what happened to Maz? Is she... all right? She was kind to me. Gave me some good advice. Yeah, she's fine. Finn and I talked to her. She's out in the galaxy, doing her own thing. Didn't seem too bothered. Makes sense, though. You don't get to be a thousand years old without getting a few castles blown up under you. Anyway, you sent the First Order packing. I must have just missed you. I missed a lot. Starkiller base firing, the destruction of the Hosnian system. By the time you landed after the battle, I was already being tortured by Kylo Rin on his ship. He did that to me too! How about that? Torture buddies! <laughs> Torture buddies? Okay, sure. But Starkiller, yeah. When that thing fired, we thought we were done. We didn't even know what Starkiller base was. We knew its location from the trajectory of the shots that destroyed Osnian, but that was it. Black Squadron had some incredible recon pilots. Though Snap Wexley, Kari Kun, Jess Pava, Leia ordered them to put together a mission plan. It got complicated. So what is this thing supposed to be, Jess? It's a ship, Snap. Are you sure? Because I don't see an engine. I don't see any weapons, hardly any electronics or controls. There's a seat, though. Maybe it's a chair? 
Is this a chair, Jess? A really odd chair. No, Kari. It's a ship. It doesn't have an engine because it doesn't need one. This assembly attaches to the belly of an X-Wing. It gets all of its velocity from the parent ship. And then gravity. So it just falls. All right, that's enough. General Organa ordered us to find a way to do a recon run on the First Order's home base, or super weapon, or whatever it is. All we know is that it'll have security, and fighters, and turbolasers, and missile emplacements and scanners like nothing we've ever seen. A normal fighter run would be suicide, so I built this. It's mostly mechanical. No engines so they won't pick up any energy signature, no weapons because they're heavy and this thing needs to speed. It has a scanner package, comms, life support, and a mag field generator to make it look even smaller than it is. Means we can't use a droid pilot, but with any luck, if the First Order picks it up, they'll just think it's a meteor. X-Wing carries it out there, lets it go, it glides down just above their shield, runs the scan, then skims across to the other side of the atmosphere for pickup. Easy. <laughs> Not easy, Jess. Impossible. It's all I could come up with. And we're out of time. If we can't find a weakness, the First Order will destroy any system it wants. Anyway, it's not your problem. I built the pod, I'll make the run. I just need one of you to fly me out there. Now who's it gonna be? Whoa! You right down there, Sam? Yeah, just a little exposed in this thing. We're almost there. You mean the part where you dropped me? Not sure that makes things much better. Okay, change of subject. You think Jess was offended that you and I insisted on doing this run? Uh, she'll figure it out. If we don't have much time left, I don't much want to spend any of it apart. You and me both. Okay. We're here. Detaching in five. Good luck, love. Don't worry. Remember, Jess said this be easy. Recon part away. Be on the other side. Before you know it. Kari, love you too. Autolog system activated. This is Captain Snap Wexley commencing reconnaissance run on the First Order base. Deploying stabilizers. Running steady. Safe distance above the shield. This thing is... It's just huge. It looks like they've reconfigured entire planet into... I... I just don't know. Good news is that the mag field just built into the pod seems to be working. No one's seen me yet. Getting some pretty rough air up here. I'm going to turn on the scanning system and let it do the work while I concentrate on... Uh, staying alive. Whoa! This is some... touch and go flying. Feels like it's getting hot in here too. I don't know if it's a problem with life support, or... Oh, no. I've got a problem with the pod's heat cladding. Best guess is the mag fields interact with the upper levels of the planet's shield. Got a lot of energy building up. I'll try and hold it together until the scan's complete. And then... Oh, blast it! Scans... Harry, come in. You, read. I'm here, Snap. You get the scan? I did, but the pod's overheating. Air in here, like an oven. Just gonna transmit all of this up to you while I still can. No, do not do that. Encrypted comms are one thing, but if you send a data burst that big, they'll pick it up for sure. They'll send fighters to check it out. I don't have a choice, babe. I haven't told you the worst part. The docking assembly must have burned off in the heat. Even if I could get to you, no way to slow me down. No way to get me home. No, no! Do not transmit that data. You get yourself up here. Kari. I'm flaring like a comet. Even if I'm not on their scanners, they're bound to just... see me. They haven't seen you yet. What was it Leia said every heist needs? Luck. And you haven't run out yet. There's no time. Sending 
Beta. Snap, Wexley! We have not been married long enough for you to make me a widow! And if you hit that transmit button, I swear I will divorce you! Okay. I'm... I'm coming. Oh, damn right you are. I'm away, Carrie. I can't believe they didn't see me. The pot's cooling down, too. What I tell you. Luck. Yeah, but I'm not feeling real great about the structural integrity of this thing. And I can't get out, and there's no way to slow down. No engines, remember? Have a little safe snap. Hey, look out! You're going to... Activating S-foils. Ah, <laughs> oh, I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> I can. Poe Dameron? <laughs> Never heard of him. And the best pilot in this outfit. Huh. I'll decelerate gradually. Make sure that thing can survive a jump to light speed. If not, we'll call for a pickup. You don't seem happy, Snap. You're alive. Seems like you should be happy. No, yeah, I am, of course. It's just... I was down there. I saw a star killer, up close. Unless we want to just give the galaxy to the First Order. I think we have to destroy it. It'll take every ship we have. Every pilot. And I hate to say it, but I don't think most of us will make it back. 